Worrying, an emotion that many of us feel on a daily basis. Worrying is an emotion that is negative to us and our mental dynamics. The Stoics recognize this, and that is why in today's video, we will go over eight Stoic principles that you can use in your everyday life to master the art of not worrying. Before we start this video, I would like to say thank you for watching, and if you want more Stoic content like this, then hit that like button and subscribe and turn notifications on. Thank you all again for watching and enjoy. Number 1. Distinguish between what you can and cannot control. The Stoic philosophers emphasize the importance of recognizing the difference between what lies within our control and what does not. Many of our worries stem from external events, circumstances, and the actions of others, which are ultimately beyond our direct influence. By focusing our energy and attention on the aspects of life that we can control, such as our own thoughts, attitudes, and behaviors, we can significantly reduce the mental burden of worry. Take a moment to reflect on your current concerns and anxieties. Ask yourself, is this something I have the power to change or affect directly? If the answer is no, acknowledge that worrying about it will not alter the outcome. Instead, redirect your focus to the areas of your life where you can make a positive impact. Concentrate on your personal growth, your relationships, and your daily actions. By doing so, you will not only alleviate unnecessary stress but also empower yourself to lead a more purposeful and fulfilling life. Remember, worrying about things beyond your control is like trying to steer a ship by blowing on the sails. It is an ineffective and futile endeavor. Embrace the stoic principle of focusing on what you can control and let go of the rest. This shift in mindset will allow you to navigate life's challenges with greater clarity, resilience, and inner peace. Number two, practice negative visualization. While it may seem counterintuitive, this practice can actually help reduce worry and foster a greater sense of resilience and gratitude. Take a few moments to consider the things you value most in your life, your health, your loved ones, your home, your job. Now, imagine a scenario in which you lose one or more of these things. Picture yourself navigating the challenges and emotions that would arise from such a loss. By mentally rehearsing these difficult situations, you develop a stronger sense of perspective and emotional fortitude. This exercise is not meant to promote pessimism or dwell on negative outcomes. Instead, it serves as a reminder that life is unpredictable and misfortune can strike at any moment. By facing these hypothetical scenarios in your mind, you can cultivate a deeper appreciation for the blessings you currently possess. You may find yourself worrying less about potential losses and instead focusing on the abundance and joy already present in your life. Moreover, negative visualization can help you develop contingency plans and inner strength to face adversity when it does arise. By mentally preparing for the worst, you equip yourself with the emotional tools and resilience needed to navigate life's inevitable challenges with greater grace and composure. Remember, the goal is not to fixate on worst-case scenarios, but rather to use them as a tool for personal growth and enhanced gratitude. Engage in negative visualization periodically, and you may find that your worries diminish as your appreciation for life's gifts grows stronger. Number three, cultivate mindfulness. Mindfulness, a core principle in Stoic philosophy, involves being fully present in the moment and observing your thoughts and emotions without judgment. By cultivating this practice, you can learn to detach from worry and gain a clearer, more balanced perspective on life's challenges. In our fast-paced, digitally connected world, it's easy to get caught up in a constant stream of thoughts, distractions, and anxieties. We often find ourselves dwelling on past regrets or fretting about future uncertainties, causing unnecessary stress and worry. Mindfulness offers a powerful antidote to this mental chatter, allowing us to anchor ourselves in the present moment. To practice mindfulness, start by setting aside a few minutes each day to sit quietly and focus on your breath. As thoughts and emotions arise, simply observe them without trying to change or suppress them. Notice the sensations in your body, the sounds around you, 
and the ebb and flow of your breath. When your mind inevitably wanders, gently redirect your attention back to the present moment. As you cultivate this practice, you may begin to notice patterns in your thoughts and emotional responses. You may observe how certain triggers or situations tend to elicit worry or anxiety. By becoming more aware of these patterns, you can develop a greater sense of detachment and perspective. You learn to recognize that thoughts and emotions are transient and that you have the power to choose how you respond to them. Mindfulness also allows you to appreciate the beauty and richness of the present moment. By fully engaging with your senses and surroundings, you can find joy and contentment in the simple pleasures of life. This shift in focus can help alleviate worry and stress as you learn to embrace the fullness of each moment rather than getting lost in mental distractions. Remember, mindfulness is a skill that requires consistent practice and patience. Start small and gradually incorporate mindfulness into your daily routine. As you become more adept at observing your thoughts and emotions without judgment, you may find that worry loses its grip on your mind, allowing you to navigate life with greater clarity, resilience, and inner peace. Number four, reframe challenges as opportunities for growth. Rather than viewing these challenges as reasons to worry or despair, they encouraged individuals to reframe them as opportunities for growth and personal development. By adopting this perspective, you can transform worry into a catalyst for positive change and resilience. When faced with a difficult situation, it's natural to feel overwhelmed or anxious. However, by consciously shifting your mindset, you can approach these challenges with a sense of curiosity and determination. Ask yourself, what can I learn from this experience? How can I adapt and grow stronger as a result of this obstacle? By viewing setbacks as opportunities for growth, you cultivate a sense of empowerment and control over your life. Instead of worrying about potential failures or negative outcomes, you focus on the lessons and insights that can be gained from each experience. You recognize that every challenge presents a chance to develop new skills, build resilience, and expand your understanding of yourself and the world around you. This growth-oriented mindset also helps alleviate worry by reframing adversity as a temporary and ultimately beneficial part of the human experience. Rather than seeing obstacles as permanent roadblocks, you understand that they are stepping stones on the path to personal development and self-mastery. To cultivate this perspective, take time to reflect on past challenges and the lessons you've learned from them. Acknowledge the ways in which you've grown and adapted as a result of these experiences. When new obstacles arise, remind yourself that they too will pass and that you have the strength and wisdom to navigate them successfully. Number five, embrace impermanence. Much of our worry stems from a desire to control the future or cling to the past. We fret about potential losses, changes, or uncertainties, forgetting that life is inherently transient and unpredictable. The Stoics remind us that worrying about the future is ultimately futile, as we cannot control the external events that shape our lives. Instead of resisting change or getting lost in worries about what may or may not happen, the Stoics encourage us to accept the impermanent nature of existence. This doesn't mean adopting a passive or fatalistic attitude, but rather acknowledging that change is a natural part of the human experience. By embracing impermanence, we can cultivate a sense of flexibility, adaptability, and resilience in the face of life's ups and downs. To practice this principle, Take a moment to reflect on the transient nature of your own experiences. Consider how your life has changed over the years, the people you've met, the places you've lived, the joys and sorrows you've encountered. Recognize that each of these experiences, both positive and negative, was temporary and ultimately gave way to new chapters and growth. As you navigate the present moment, remind yourself that the challenges and worries you face will also pass. Instead of getting caught up in anxiety about the future, focus on making the most of the opportunities and experiences available to you right now. Embrace the present with a sense of gratitude and mindfulness, knowing that each moment is a fleeting gift. Remember, impermanence is not something to be feared or resisted, but rather a truth to be accepted and even celebrated. By recognizing the transient nature of life, we can release our attachment to worry 
and instead cultivate a sense of presence, resilience, and appreciation for the richness of each passing moment. Number six, develop self-discipline. Developing self-discipline requires consistent practice and commitment. It involves cultivating awareness of your thought patterns and consciously choosing to redirect your attention when you find yourself getting caught up in worry or negative self-talk. This process is similar to strengthening a muscle. The more you exercise your mental discipline, the stronger and more resilient it becomes. One effective way to cultivate self-discipline is through the regular practice of mindfulness techniques such as meditation or journaling. These practices help you develop a greater awareness of your internal experience, allowing you to observe your thoughts and emotions with clarity and detachment. When engaging in meditation, start by finding a quiet, comfortable space where you can sit undisturbed for a few minutes each day. Focus your attention on your breath, noticing the sensations of each inhalation and exhalation. When your mind inevitably wanders to worries or distractions, gently redirect your focus back to the present moment and your breath. Over time, this practice can help you develop a greater sense of mental clarity and control. Journaling is another powerful tool for cultivating self-discipline and managing worry. By putting your thoughts and feelings down on paper, you can gain a clearer perspective on your internal experience and identify patterns of worry or negative self-talk. Use your journal as a space to process your emotions, reframe challenges, and set intentions for productive action. In addition to these mindfulness practices, you can also cultivate self-discipline by setting clear goals and boundaries for yourself. Identify the areas of your life where worry tends to take hold, and develop strategies for redirecting your energy towards more constructive pursuits. This might involve setting aside specific times for problem solving or action planning, rather than allowing worry to consume your mental space throughout the day. Remember, developing self-discipline is a gradual process that requires patience and self-compassion. Be kind to yourself as you work to strengthen your mental muscles and celebrate the small victories along the way. With consistent practice and commitment, you can learn to harness the power of self-discipline to overcome worry and cultivate a more focused, resilient mindset. Number seven, cultivate gratitude. The practice of gratitude involves actively acknowledging and savoring the blessings and joys that are present in your life, even amidst challenges or difficulties. It's about recognizing that even on the toughest days, there are still moments of beauty, kindness, or comfort to be found. To cultivate gratitude, start by setting aside time each day to reflect on the things you're thankful for. This can be as simple as taking a few minutes in the morning or before bed to mentally list three to five things that you appreciate about your life. These might include your health, your loved ones, a comfortable home, a fulfilling career, or even small pleasures like a warm cup of coffee or a beautiful sunset. As you make this practice a regular habit, you may find that your perspective begins to shift. Instead of getting caught up in worries about what you lack or what could go wrong, you start to notice and appreciate the abundance of good that already surrounds you. This shift in focus can help alleviate stress and anxiety as you cultivate a sense of contentment and resilience in the face of life's challenges. Another way to cultivate gratitude is by expressing appreciation to others. Take time to thank the people in your life who support and care for you and let them know how much their presence means to you. Write a heartfelt letter to a loved one, or simply offer a sincere thank you to a colleague or friend who has made a positive impact on your day. In addition to these interpersonal expressions of gratitude, you can also cultivate appreciation for the wider world around you. Take time to notice and savor the beauty of nature, the kindness of strangers, or the small moments of joy and connection that occur throughout your day. By training your mind to focus on these positive elements, you can develop a greater sense of perspective and resilience in the face of worry. Number eight, study and apply Stoic principles. Stoicism is a rich and complex philosophy that emphasizes the development of wisdom, self-discipline, and resilience in the face of life's challenges. At its core, Stoicism teaches that true happiness and peace of mind come from living in accordance with reason and virtue, rather than being swayed by external events or emotions. To begin your study of Stoic philosophy, 
consider reading works such as Marcus Aurelius's Meditations, Seneca's Letters from a Stoic, or Epictetus's Enchiridion. These texts offer profound insights into the human condition and provide practical guidance for navigating life's joys and sorrows with grace and equanimity. As you explore these works, take time to reflect on how the Stoic principles can be applied to your own life. Consider how concepts such as accepting what is beyond your control, cultivating self-discipline, and finding joy in the present moment can help you overcome worry and cultivate a more resilient mindset. One powerful way to integrate Stoic wisdom into your daily life is through the practice of journaling. As you read and reflect on Stoic teachings, use your journal to explore how these ideas resonate with your own experiences and challenges. Write about how you can apply Stoic principles to specific situations in your life, and use your journal as a space to process your thoughts and emotions through the lens of Stoic wisdom. Another way to deepen your understanding of Stoicism is by engaging in discussions and reflections with others who share your interest in the philosophy. Join online forums or local study groups dedicated to exploring Stoic ideas, and engage in thoughtful conversations about how these principles can be applied to modern life. Remember, the goal of studying Stoic philosophy is not simply to accumulate knowledge, but to transform your mindset and way of being in the world. By integrating Stoic wisdom into your daily life, you can cultivate a strong foundation for a worry-free existence rooted in wisdom, resilience, and inner peace. Embracing the art of not worrying is a lifelong journey, and the principles of Stoicism offer a powerful roadmap for navigating this path. By committing to ongoing study and application of these timeless teachings, you can develop the mental clarity and emotional fortitude needed to rise above worry and live a life of purpose, joy, and fulfillment. Thank you for joining me on this exploration of eight Stoic principles to embrace the art of not worrying. I hope these insights from the great Stoic philosophers have provided you with valuable tools and perspectives to help alleviate worry and cultivate a more resilient, peaceful mindset.